Okay, doing a quick review on this uh, Van Rysel MIPS RCR helmet, uh, road racing helmet. Uh, I'm going to go through the pros and cons, nice and quick. Uh, pros, main one for me because I sweat a hell of a lot is the vents. Look at all those vents, and like huge vents in the front and loads of vents on the rear as well. Um, the nearest competitor that I was thinking of getting was the POC, but it was twice the price of this. This one's $79.99. Uh, comes in two colours, white and this lovely blue colour. Uh, I quite wanted the blue, so uh, I thought bargain at that price. Uh, it's comfy, it fits secure, doesn't move about, doesn't hit off your sunglasses. Uh, and the size is spot on, I've got it on medium. Uh, I would imagine 90% of the people buying this will all need a medium, unless you've got a really big head or a really small head, uh, I would stick with a medium. I tried the large one and it was way too big for me, so if you know you've got a large head, big head, then get the large, but other than that, I would probably say you'd be fine with a medium. Um, it came with white stickers and sides, which I had to rip off because they were covering some of the vents on it. For some reason, they, they didn't bother with you know, removing the, the stickers inside, so I've done that to clear out the vents. Adjustability, this bit here kind of goes uh, down and up. You can push it up, so basically you can choose where you want this bit in the back to come down. Uh, I think I had it kind of pretty much all the way down, uh, and you can secure it with that. It's pretty secure, relatively comfy, no padding on that, but it was relatively comfy. Um, downsides, uh, well, I would like to see more padding. There is some padding on it. Um, I like the padding at the front because it absorbs some sweat. Padding at the top, tiny wee bits. Not too much, but like I say, it fits so securely, it doesn't really move about that much. Um, I would really like to see more padding. Downside for me was the strap. Um, yeah, it doesn't come with a mag lock, it just comes with this cheap bit. Let's hope it doesn't snap. And. Uh, Basically, this isn't adjustable. You can't really adjust this. Um, so if you've got really low ears, this could be a problem. I'll show you when I put the helmet on, but uh, yeah, it could be an issue. Um, no sunglasses mounts, so you can't fit sunglass on it. Another downside. Tried and it just slips off. And um, yeah, it sits pretty high on the head. And, uh, yeah, apart from that, that's your only two sort of downsides. Now, I'm going to uh, take it with me and put it on. You can see what it's like. Take it out of the basket. Hopefully, the cat's not there. No. Okay. Let's put this down. Let's put this on. You get to see what it's like on with a pair of. Oakley Sutros. Uh, clamp it on. And turn this around, so there you go. There we go. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you can see it doesn't move at all, really. It's quite secure. Doesn't hit off your glasses. Um, you can see the downside here is the uh, the earpiece. This is basically, it sits quite high in the head, there's a bit of gap here, and there's not much room underneath the ear. It doesn't hit on my ear, and I found it relatively comfortable. Uh, this chin strap is down as far as it will go. Not a very long strap, not padded or anything like that. Uh, but this is a bit that, that might annoy some people. So if you've got really low ears, um, yeah, this might not annoy you. But look at those vents. Um, plus a plus side, I'm not sure I sort of saw somewhere regarding air, uh, aerodynamics, but I think if you put your head down quite a bit when you're racing, you get a bit more aerodynamic off the top there. So, um, yeah, plus side there. But all in all, for certainly nine and nine MIPS road racing helmet, uh, bargain. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day.